All right, so I'm here with Will Bird, and we're going to take a quick look at the 2017 Cadillac CTS-V. Got the specs right here. Specs in hand, okay. What do you think this costs? Base uh, price, and so then give it to me with options. 2017 Cadillac CTS-V, yep. we'll say it probably starts, if I recall, uh, this guy was low 80s, right? Somewhere in there? Let's say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say 82. 82? 82. Which is more than he guessed on our first take. Now he knows how much it costs. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 85,995 to start. 85? Yep. And what, what options do we have? Uh, we have the carbon black package. Which gives you what? Oh, geez, okay, you got a second. Um, the carbon fiber hood vent, uh, front splitter, spoiler, diffuser, uh, black chrome accent grill, 19 inch after midnight, dark finish alloy wheels, low gloss carbon fiber interior trim, that's just one package. Ricard okay, what, what else do we have? Okay, Recaro high performance seats with suede and microfiber. Um, the luxury package, which gives you climate control, tri-zone, blah, 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 sunshades, power rear, this uh, heated rear seats, uh, a 110 volt power outlet, um, a seat, rear flip, split folding, I, I assume that means the rear. Uh, rear camera mirror, which is quite interesting. Uh, and the uh, next uh, section, performance data recorder, these are all individuals, ultra view sunroof, gas guzzler tax, sorry, uh, dark gold Brembo calipers, you're welcome, and suede microfiber steering wheel and shifter. So what do you think those options run? Uh, my guess is, uh, I mean, GM typically gives you a good deal on some of this stuff. We'll say... Uh, Cadillac. Cadillacs aren't cheap. We'll say uh, Cadillac tax, huh? I'm gonna say, yeah. I'm gonna say nine grand. Nine grand? Sixteen two seventy. Sixteen. <laughs> would you like would you like me to do the math for you on the total? Okay, well that brings the whopping total to a hundred and three thousand two hundred and sixty dollars. Show that's that a, show that for the folks at home. That's a uh, that's a six figure car right there. Jesus H Christ. Yep. Does it feel like a six-figure car? It now, that's the question. It really does. Uh, amazingly, there are little touches and things that I was sort of concerned, you know, it, it's a GM, blah, 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 but it's still a Cadillac as well. And there are definitely elements where you're like, wow, I haven't even seen this feature on another car. So there are times where I think it definitely earns its money. It's got the gadgets, it's got the power, uh, it's got the look. Um, it's, been, it's been a fun car to drive around for a few days. You get a lot of thumbs up, a lot of like, cameras out the window like people people like this car so it's a Cadillac so you expect it to be comfortable but it's also a V series so you expect it to be a bit of a badass so if you want to change the settings you can change the overall settings with the mode button tour sport and track down here or you can go into the bigger settings on the uh, the touchscreen here you have driving mode so you can go to engine sound management which I keep in track because I like it to sound like a badass car you can also pick tour and sport you can go into steering same settings I keep that at sport it gives it kind of a lively steering feel suspension I'm in my 40s I'm driving a Cadillac I'm daily driving it I'm putting that tour and I'm gonna drive around town and absorb all the puddles uh, can you check out the uh, the spec sheet in there and uh, maybe open the glove box for me this is a trip <laughs> glove box <laughs> maybe up on the top there somewhere Right there. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta show you guys this. Stupid ass glove box. It's got button. a glove box button. <laughs> That's just terrible. Once you know. So, normal mirror does normal mirror things. Normally it's auto dimming and this and that. And I thought this was auto dimming. I reached up, pulled the button, and holy crap, I could see cars driving behind me. I had a fisheye, like panoramic view of everything behind me. That's pretty cool. That's a hundred grand.
<laughs> happens all the time, right? Yeah, no, no, it happens to anybody. Be a jerk over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> LT4. Uh, what, what's okay. what's what's uh, the Fast and Furious line after they pull in? Talk to me, talk to me, Dom. <laughs> no, right. talk to me, talk to me, Jesse. All right, here yeah. we go. All right, talk to me, Jesse. <laughs> We're gonna need to overnight some parts from uh, Detroit. Uh, LT4, 6.2 liter. Eight cylinders, supercharged, Z06 engine, 640 horsepower, 630 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, it's a beast. So even if you don't add 16,000 dollars in options, you still get the same engine, the same multi-mode exhaust. Uh, you saw in the Camaro video we do, like GM's doing some pretty kick-ass exhausts with the multi-modes and things. This one is a next level. The big question, is the CTSV worth $100,000? I mean, we remember not that long ago, it was what, 50, 60 grand they used to start? Now it starts at almost 86? I don't know. No, I do know, it's completely worth it. It's a ridiculously amazing car, has a giant engine, it looks cool, it's got a lot of features, it's got a lot of gadgets. I mean, honestly, you look through these 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 options and yeah, they're, they're expensive, but they're not necessarily like German car expensive. You're talking a total of, 16 grand for a lot of tech, a lot of carbon fiber. Honestly, like I said before, take or leave this 16 grand, you still get the same 6.2 liter, 640 horsepower engine, that multi-mode exhaust, track mode, all that fun stuff. Even without the gadgets, it's a ridiculously cool car. I think it's worth 100 grand. <laughs>